Morning, everybody. Well, back up here on my favorite river to Davidson. After all this rain we've had, I'm gonna see what we can do. Calling for more rain today. Not sure if we're gonna get it or not, but it sure is cloudy. Cool morning. I'd say probably in the 40s, low 40s, something like that. Not too bad. So stay with us and let's see if we can get some action. I'm still trying. We uh we got one bite. Didn't get him, but we lost the fly. That's okay. That's no problem. It's it's another tough day. I've I've fished a lot in the winter and I've always caught them, but for some reason I ain't doing it this time. But we're gonna keep on and we're going to see if we can get some more to bite. Hopefully we get one in. So, stay with us. All right, everybody. So, let me show you what I'm using. Of course, I got my tin car rod with me today. This is a Teton Zoom, 10 and a half, 12 foot. And I got level line on it, probably about a four foot tippet. And what I'm using today, let me see if I can get them around here. Yep, if I can get a hold of them. Little pheasant tail saw tackle. And little red. Blood midge. That's what I'm using. Still nothing. I'm going to ease back down the river and hopefully we'll get something. So let's go chasing. Hey everybody, so I just want to take a minute and talk to you about how I kind of read the water and stuff like that because it can be helpful 
if you know what you're looking for and what you're doing. So in the winter time, uh, you can see, you know, my past couple trips up here, it, it's been hard. I, I've not caught anything. I've got some bites, but I've not got anything in. So let me just turn the camera around here and let me show you what I look for when I get in the water. Okay, everybody. So mainly what I target is rainbows and browns. I do like catching brooks, but mainly it's rainbows and browns when I get out here. And I like this little swift water right here, this little current water. I used to try to stay away from this time of year. Now, yeah, you, you can get you an occasional rainbow in, in, this, in this water here, but what I try to target is this pocket water, like right here under this bridge. These, these deep holes, that's where the trout are gonna feel more safe and secure this time of year. Uh, they're not gonna expend a whole lot of energy chasing anything. And even though it's a slow current, it's still bringing them food. So if you look right, right over here, along the edge of the bank right here, like I would not throw over that way. I don't know if you can tell, but like right here, it's a little slick and it's a slow current and it just comes down and goes right out here into this deep pool. So that is what I look for when I uh, come out in the winter time and fish, especially with midges. And as it goes on down, you'll start going back out here into some shallow water. And that's when I will go back over here to the bank where it gets a little bit deeper and then I'll fish that. So guys, I hope that helped you or help someone who is getting into trout fishing or has having trouble in the winter time help them to get out here and catch some fish all right let's work our way on down and see if we do anything hello everybody i'm giving it up it's been a great day whether i caught fish or not just being out here on the river man i'm telling you it's just so relaxing. So I want to thank you for joining me. Thank all my subscribers. Hope y'all have a great day. And as always, I will see you on the water.